In August 2025, the British government announced a major shake-up of the UK space sector. Under the reforms, the UK Space Agency, UKSA, will stop being an arm's length body and instead be absorbed into the Department of Science, Innovation and Technology. This is due to happen by April 2026 when officials say the change is part of a wider plan for change aimed at cutting red tape and making Whitehall more agile. News headlines, even from the BBC, initially implied the agency was being abolished. The video clarifies that UKSA isn't disappearing at all. It will keep its name, its brand, but staff and budgets will be managed from within DSIT. Ministers argue that integrating policymakers and delivery experts will improve efficiency and reduce duplication. Space Minister Chris Bryant said the move would bring much greater integration and focus and help realise the UK's space ambitions. UKSA Chief Executive Dr Paul Bate welcomed the change, saying a single unit with a golden thread through strategy, policy and delivery will make it faster to turn space goals into reality. However, critics are wary. The UK space industry generates about £18.6 billion a year and supports more than 55,000 jobs, and some fear that folding UKSA into DSIT could slow down decision making. Space Minister Sir Chris Bryant said the move would bring much greater integration and focus and help realise the UK's space ambitions. UKSA Chief Executive Dr Paul Bate welcomed the change, saying a single unit with a golden thread through strategy, policy and delivery will make it faster to turn space goals into reality. However, critics are wary. The UK space industry generates about £18.6 billion a year and supports more than 55,000 jobs, and some fear that folding UKSA into DSIT could slow down decision making. Dr Simeon Barber of the Open University told the BBC that scrapping the agency's independence seems like a backward step when other countries are establishing dedicated national space agencies. There are concerns that the sector could lose focus and become mired in bureaucracy. The video also notes UKSA's achievements. Since its creation in 2010, it has overseen Britain's first astronaut mission when Tim Peake flew to the International Space Station, supported launch facilities in Scotland and helped build a small satellite industry worth billions. Supporters worry that without a semi-independent agency, the UK might struggle to compete with countries that are increasing investment in space. In summary, the UK Space Agency isn't being axed, but will become part of DSIT. The government believes the merger will streamline operations and enhance ministerial oversight, while critics warn it could undermine the autonomy and agility of the organisation that helped the UK build a thriving space sector. Thank you for watching. Please check the description for a link to a full video on the topic. And until the next time, in the words of the angry astronaut, stay angry about space.